Hello students, welcome again to our English literature class. In today's class, we shall take up the lesson, the snake and the mirror. It is taken from chapter 5 of your literature book, Behind the Snake and the Mirror, written by Vaiko Muhammad Bashir. Students, before we proceed, don't you think the name snake and the mirror is quite funny? Snake, mirror, is it possible? Any snake using mirror, is it possible any wild animal like dog, cat or bird using the mirror? Perhaps not, unless they are pet. Pet animals may be admiring into the mirror, but the wild animals do not. Anyway, let us continue with the story. So, this story is very funny, humorous, and we find in the story, there is a doctor, a doctor of pathology, pathology, pathologist, and he is bachelor, handsome, new to his practice, he is just began his practice. So, since he is new, he is not very rich, he has not gathered much wealth and money. And so, this is a story about him. So, it happened, he has a friend. One day, all his friends were talking, chatting and sharing their life experiences. This doctor also thought of sharing his experiences. Then he began sharing one of his most funny experience, incident in his life. So the incident or story goes like this. It was a summer season. It was summer evening. Time was about 10 o'clock. Summer evening, 10 o'clock. And he has just returned from a restaurant from where he was taking the meal. So after taking his dinner, he had just returned to his room. Now, being a poor doctor, he cannot afford to take a very costly room. So he has taken a tiled room. He had taken a rented tiled room. It has no electricity no roof, no ceiling. So, he uses kerosene lamp and now, as he is feeling hot, he opens the doors and windows so that he could feel some fresh air. Now, he found that he is not getting the sufficient fresh air to relax. So, he went out into the barrel. So, there also he found that the wind was not blowing and he says perhaps the wind also had gone for rest. Then again he came into his rooms and began resting. Then it is described, he says that he had very poor earning, he possessed very little things. So he had poor possessions. He says he had only 60 rupees on that day and only black coat as his best possession and he had a white banyan vest and of course his room had plenty of rags. And as he said that the room had no electricity, he used the kerosene band and uh, he sat down on his chair, chair here, yes. he sat down on his chair, so here he sat down here, right, he is sitting down here and began reading a book, medical book of Materia Medica. As he was reading, suddenly he began admiring the mirror. Mirror is 
here before him on the table and Paul also is there. Then he began admiring his handsome face up to his bachelor. Then as he was admiring his face, admiring himself, lot of beautiful thoughts began coming into his mind. And he began entertaining some beautiful thoughts. And as he was thinking, he thought of taking some, some strategy of leading his life. He thought how he should lead the life ahead so that he could be a successful person in all points of view. Then he made decisions. Now let us see what decisions he made as he was admiring into the mirror. First decision he made was that he would shave daily and keep a thin moustache so that he can be very handsome. Second decision he made that he would always keep a smiling face so that he could be attractive especially to the ladies. After all, he is a bachelor, he has to get married. Then, very important decision he was making that when he marries, he would marry not any kind of lady, he would marry first of all a doctor. Why? Because the doctor is very rich and doctors can lead a very happy life and that doctor also should be a fat lady doctor and why why fat he says very funny reason for being a fat he wanted that he would marry a fat lady doctor he says suppose they enter into some argument quarrel fight then he can easily run away from her and she would not catch him. That's why he said he would marry a lady doctor who is very fat and rich, who has a of wealth. Let's continue. As he was entertaining these ideas, he heard one sound, a third sound, though it was not strange. After all, he was used to the sound of the rat. So, as he heard the third sound, he began to look around. He began looking around and he saw to his fear that there was a big fat snake who, who was just moving up his chair, moving up his chair here, moving up his chair here. And from his chair to his left arm, then from his left arm to his shoulder, and he says that snake coiled around his shoulder, and he says that he felt even pain because snake had coiled around him. And he says the head of the snake remained just three to four inches away from his face, and he said that he is facing the death. He is just 3-4 inches from the death. And due to fear, he says, he has turned into a stone image. Very, very frightened. He did not know what to do. Then students, as you know, it happens to everyone. When all hopes are lost, what we do? We remember God. He also remembered God. He began praying. And he knew that if one bite means sure death. And he knew that he had no medicine. When he thought about medicine, he has no medicine. Being a doctor also, he felt that he, how foolish he was, how foolish doctor he was. He felt ashamed of himself. Then, to his pleasant surprise, he saw that the snake began moving down from his shoulder and left arm and moved towards his table, onto the table, in front of the mirror and began admiring the mirror. Then the doctor says, I did not know what sex 
the snake was of whether it was male or female but the snake was standing before the mirror and began admiring and so what did the doctor do doctor got up got up from his chair and began running out here outside and he ran into the veranda and he ran as fast as he could until he reached one of his friends house there quickly he changed his clothes applied oil in fear if the snake has bitten him no harm should happen to him he took bath and here all his friends who were listening to his story took a sigh of relief now the doctor's friends who were listening to his story asked him doctor when you ran did the snake follow you the doctor replied no i don't know because i ran so fast i did not stop till i reached my friend's house then they asked him second question doctor is your wife fat or thin the doctor quiet this heart and the answer no my wife is as thin as a reed she is a reedy person very thin but she is gifted with the skill of a sprinter that means she can run very fast that means what he had thought of his wife it happened just opposite then next day the doctor returned to his room with his friend to take away his belongings but when he reached early morning around 8 o'clock what did he find he found that his room was empty the thieves had taken away everything only his vest banyan was left and he says that was a big insult for him after all they could have taken washed and used only a little surf and water is needed so he felt it was a big shame that the thieves also did not take his dirty shabby banyan now again his friends asked one last question to him they asked doctor did you ever see the snake again in your life he asked no never after all that snake was so beautiful that it had no time to come before me she was so beautiful that she had no time to be away from the mirror so students this is the story and i hope you understood and got the real story so students in today's class that's all keep learning thank you